Hi guys, Knife Detector here. And as promised, I have a pretty awesome knife to show you guys. Uh, a while back I mentioned that I had an NKCNDA Stag Canoe Knife. I wanted to show you guys, and this is it. Guys, this knife uh, was made back in 1977. I don't know a whole lot about um, National Knife Collectors and Dealers Association. I believe that's what it's called. The National Knife Collectors and Dealers Association. As you can see here on this badge and up here also on the blade. Uh, but my understanding is that it was a group of knife makers, uh, knife dealers uh, that came together sometime, I think, in the 1960s. And they realized that the knife hobby was growing at a fantastic rate. So they decided to come up with some special knives. Some real special knives that if you became a member of the association that you would have a chance at buying some of these really truly beautiful and special knives and they had many famous companies make these knives uh sorry guys that's the dryer <laughs> and you had many famous companies making these knives and you had many uh famous uh companies such as case i think made some of these knives this particular one is a kissing crane and they were very sought after back then and they only made them in limited production numbers right and i don't know very much about the national knife collectors and dealers association i believe that's what it stands for uh, but let me show you this knife right it's a beautiful canoe and I'm making this video now even though it's not going to come out probably for another week, week and a half uh, because I really want to carry this knife. This knife was made back in 1977 guys and it's never really been carried. Uh, it's got a couple of scratches probably just from storage but I'm going to pocket carry this knife because I believe this would be an awesome knife to carry in your pocket. So let's take a close look at it. There it is, NKC and DA. I, I, from some of the reading I've done, I believe that later on they took off the DA, the Dealers Association, and the knives were just called NKC knives. Um, I believe it's National Knife Collectors. I believe that's what the N stands for. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's take a look at that main blade. Some real pretty scroll. Uh, I think it's uh, etching there. 1977 and this is one out of 5,000 so back in 1977 they made 5,000 of these beauties look at that blade hasn't even been touched in so many years let's do the math 20 plus let's see another 20 that's 40 43 years and this knife is beautiful do you know what that means I'm 45 so this knife is two years younger than I am Here's the other side. Look at that beautiful stag, guys. See right there, you have the kissing crane. The kissing crane is a little worn out from the, that blade being opened uh, quite a few times, but never really used, just opened. Opened and closed. There we have Solingen, Germany, stamped in there. And Casey and DA. Let's close some of these blades here. Try not to cut myself. Let's close the main blade because I want to show you. Gosh, look at that snap, guys. Never really been used. 1977. It's got the year right there. So these were special knives, right? And as you can see, this is a three-blade canoe. Here you have the sheep's foot. I showed you the main blade. It's got that long pull. It's got that swedge. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful blade. This long pull is really awesome. Look at that drop point blade, guys. It's just a beauty. Ha! It's just a beauty. And I don't have many canoes, but uh, wow, I'm so glad to have this one. And you can really feel, guys, this is stag. This isn't bone that was made to look like stag. I believe this is real stag. Beautiful stag on that knife. Look at that. And you guys know with stag, it's like impossible to get both sides to look the same because you're dealing with, you're dealing with antler, guys. You're dealing with stag. Very nice. Look at that. 
brass liners. Look at the fit and finish. So the National Knife Collectors Association uh, used to come up with these beauties, right? And they had many different styles of knives that they come out with, and they were sought after. And, and if you were a part of their organization, you got to buy some of these knives. And I think I remember reading that this knife uh, back in the 70s when it came out in 77 was $12. Can you believe that? 12 bucks. I think that's what I read. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I wanted to show you this beauty, guys. Tell me what you think. Is it a beautiful canoe or what? You know, and this knife, it's not a small canoe, guys. This is a four inch canoe. It's not a three inch. It's not a butter bean. It's not a three and five eighths. This is a four inch canoe. And um, sometimes they call these canoes that are slightly bigger, they call them gunboats. So this might be, might qualify as a gunboat. Let's see, see if I can grab a ruler real quick. Let's see what we got here. Right about there. Ah, see, this knife is actually longer than four inches, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes about to here, a little bit longer. It's four and one, two, three. It's about four and three eighths long. So I do believe, in my opinion anyway, that this would qualify as a gunboat. It's a pretty sweet deal, guys. Um, this is going to be one of my nicer knives that I own. How much did I pay for this? I believe I paid about $50 for this, maybe a little bit less. I think I got a great deal. I saw another one on eBay that went for about 30 bucks, but it was way more used than this one. You couldn't really see this clear anymore. It had a lot of scratches on it. This is out of 5,000. This is number 1,444. All right, guys, tell me what you think. You know, this has been The Knife Detector with another knife beauty out there. You know I make videos mostly on traditional knives, but every now and then I sneak in a modern knife in there too because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And if you're a knife collector like me, uh, you find a lot of modern knives just as pretty as a lot of traditional knives, right? And if you're like me, you see value and beauty everywhere you go. So this is a knife detector signing off. Y'all stay safe. God bless you. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper.